Now on safety and security following the terror attacks in Paris, firefighters in KCK are now concerned their equipment could fail during an emergency. Only here on 41 Action News, Lexi Suter toured a fire station and found out why. Lexi, this sounds concerning. Well, yeah, Mike and Randy, concerning for the firefighters here, but concerning for the people, the public in KCK. I want to show you an example. Here at Station 20, you can see the wood is rotting, but that's not even the biggest problem. The beams that are holding up this station aren't even structurally sound anymore. They're starting to split. Now, these are just a couple of examples of what they're dealing with over here. If you were a homeowner and you're, or a business owner and your building wasn't up to code, the government would shut you down. And they're not doing a damn thing about this. Bob Wing has served the KCK Fire Department for 39 years. As the fire union's business manager, he's desperately pushing for upgrades. Well, obviously, what triggered the conversation was the, the lack of compliance with the health and safety standards. Wing says the department fails to meet some national standards at no fault of its own. Some of the equipment they're using is nearly 40 years old. You said 1977. What should this be? Um... Probably less than 10 years old. They're living in poorly maintained fire stations and operating at a staffing level lower than the National Fire Protection Association recommends. I think this study exposed some things that even the government officials were surprised about. Not only to put out the notice Last the month, a third party study revealed many of these issues. Mayor Mark Holland admits the upgrades are long overdue and says public safety is, in fact, a priority. Wing and the fire department say it's time to take action. The floor is pretty rough. Before the taxpayer safety, this appears from the roofs leaking, is at risk. You're talking about $40 million, estimated $40 million in, in station repairs and or replacement. You're talking about probably $20 million in equipment that's probably needing to be replaced. You're not going to find that money overnight. The mayor and the fire department are working together. They want to make sure response times to anywhere in KCK and Wyandotte County is down to four minutes. Now, that could include consolidating some fire stations in order to build new ones, though none of those plans at this time have been finalized. Reporting live in KCK, Lexi Suter, 41 Action News.